Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. What I wanna talk to you guys about today is how to run up your plays on SoundCloud. And this isn't a platform that I necessarily would recommend you guys to work. I do personally have my own beliefs about SoundCloud and trust me, I'll be doing a video on that in the future. But I have gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking me how you can start to build your plays up on SoundCloud, how you can start to get your songs out there, so on and so forth. So I wanna give you guys a couple of tips, some that I've noticed and kind of seen in my recent past working with SoundCloud and some that have come directly from SoundCloud themselves. They recently put out a blog article talking about ways that you can optimize your SoundCloud page so that your songs will spread a lot more. So I'll be digging into that as well. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, now the first tip comes directly from SoundCloud itself, and it's make sure that you're as discoverable as possible, meaning that you wanna have your titles and your descriptions in order, don't have anything like track number one to track number two, and don't add any unnecessary and extra characters or symbols that will make it hard for people to find you. So whatever your name is on Instagram or Twitter or whatever other profiles you use, make sure that it's as close to it as possible within the track description and the track title for your song so that people can easily look you up and find you. You'll also want to make sure that your album art is the highest quality and resolution as you can possibly get. SoundCloud doesn't really like to work with low res photos and it'll make it a little harder for you to be discovered cover and for people to want to actually come and check you out when they do stumble upon your profile. The main thing here guys is consistency. Consistency across your track descriptions, consistency across your titles, and consistency across your album art will make you very discoverable on SoundCloud, giving you a better chance of being picked up by the platform's algorithm and having your songs actually spread out within the platform. And the second thing that you guys want to make sure that you're doing is taking advantage of SoundCloud's genre and mood tags. Now just like all of the other streaming platforms, SoundCloud does in fact have its own algorithm that they use to determine how other people are hearing songs and what songs come up next after this song and so forth and so forth. So SoundCloud uses their algorithm based on the tags and the genres that you guys are using. So you want to use as many as you possibly can that relate to your song and relate to your audience. So if you're a rapper, your main genre tag may be hip hop, you may have a chill mood or a sleepy mood or something like that. Tagging it with as many relevant tags as possible increases your chance of being picked up by the algorithm, being spread to these people who are looking for songs based on these types of tags and these types of genres, and increasing your chance that you actually hit the audience that you wanna hit. And that's the best way to make sure that your music spreads on SoundCloud, honestly. So before each song release, make sure that you have a list of tags and subgenres listed out that you can use with each song time and time again. This way you'll make sure to hit the same niche over and over, spreading your music out amongst the people who really care about the types of songs that you're making and putting you in front of a relevant audience anyway. Now the next thing that you'll wanna make sure that you're doing is taking advantage of repost networks and the repost function on SoundCloud in general. Now, in my opinion, they don't work as well as they did, I would say two, three years ago, but they're still the most effective way for you to grow your song on SoundCloud itself. You can either reach out to people who are bigger than you and see how much they're charging for reposts. I've seen a couple of popular DJs and even like smaller, lesser known artists who still have large fan bases who offer reposts as well. Or you can take advantage of Repost Network, which is a website that actually sells reposts from different large SoundCloud accounts. Just go in there, make a profile, dig through the ones that make the most sense for you, see how much they cost and get those guys to repost your song as well. Or if you guys are trying to stay more inside of your budget, or if you don't really want to spend money on reposts at all, what you can do is start to build your own repost network using friends, artists, DJs, and producers who are all in similar size and demographic as you as well. This will make it easier because you'll start to kind of associate brands with people who are also trying to build themselves up and pretty much be sharing fan bases with other people who can pretty much pitch into yours and you'll be helping them out by doing the same. Now on SoundCloud, your repost network is like gold. So the stronger of a network that you build, the better chances that you have of spreading your song out outside of your own network, increasing its views, increasing its reach, and increasing your chance of picking up new fans. So just to give you guys a little recap, the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you're as discoverable within the platform itself, meaning that you wanna make sure that your titles are in order, that your descriptions are in order, and that you're using the same name on SoundCloud as the one that you're using on all your other social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter or whatever it is that you guys are using. The second thing that you'll wanna do is make sure that you're using SoundCloud's genre and mood tags. Like I said, SoundCloud has its own algorithm that it uses to determine songs that play next 
within other people's on playlisting and their track efforts and things like that. So the more that you tag your songs with as many relevant tags as possible, the better chance that you have of SoundCloud's algorithm picking you up and spreading your song in the platform without you even having to do much work. And the third thing that you guys wanna do is make sure that you build a strong repost network. You can do this by hitting up DJs or rappers or other artists who are offering reposts for whatever price it is that they offer. Make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck and that it actually helps to spread your song. Or you can always tap into artists who have a similar genre and niche and same size following as you to start to build you guys' own repost network of similar style artists. Or you can always use a website like Repost Network, just go in, make an account, find pages that are actually offering reposts and figure out which ones make the most sense for you, your style of music and your budget. Now I'll make sure to leave that link to the original SoundCloud blog post in the description below so that you guys can check out some of the other tips that they had that I didn't feel like really needed that much of a video description, but you can always go through it, read through it yourself and get from it what you need. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please make sure you like and share this video. Hit those post notifications so that you guys don't miss anything. I want you guys to learn everything and anything that you possibly can. With that being said, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.